guys. Welcome back to the train wreck. And uh, of course, it's Florida, so it's going to be raining. So that's in the video. Sorry for your luck. But this week on the 6.0 Power Stroke Mustang, we're going to get the motor in. As you can tell, it's already sitting in place in pretty much its final position. Uh, we got the motor mounts right here. So you can see this is here. And as you saw in the last video, how I designed them, we're going to go ahead and lift the motor up just a hair in the back, then have it raised up about another inch. And then I will measure up, put the plate on there, tack it all down and make sure it all fits. And then we'll weld it all up and have everything set. Uh, it's pretty much in its final spot, you know, maybe cut out a little bit more of the firewall since it is sitting right there on it right here uh it's, i mean it's it's pretty much center with the car get everything done uh but yeah let's go ahead and cut to it oh yeah it looks good bud and of course now i'm working in the rain right in the edge so perfect spot to have a vice. Safety first. Okay, that's one done. Time for the second. Just trying to grind it up, make it look a little bit better looking. Uh, Ethan did a great job with this, welding it all up. Got to make it look uh, a little more presentable. Then we will cut it to size and go from there. Actually, I can lift it up just a little bit more on the front, and I shouldn't have to cut the firewall, but. Cross your fingers, we'll see. Always use a board. You try to jack things up, just makes it a little bit easier and it won't ruin any of the metal. So, a lot of you guys have been asking what I'm doing about steering since Dan from the Hoonigans had to redo his whole steering rack. Well, thankfully, uh, I'm not having that issue. I can show you right here. So, as you can see right down there, about right there, because I can hold it right here, it's nothing to mount to in here yet, uh, but as you can see, I have full movement of the steering shaft and nothing is in the way. You got the exhaust header right there, but right there, I'm hopefully going to wrap the exhaust headers in some heat wrap, uh, but not to that point yet. More of just trying to get the motor in there than worry about the other stuff. Uh, we're making it so it's super easy to take this motor out. Seriously, just bolt right there and a bolt right there on the other side take them out with an impact and it extension motor lifts right out be a piece of cake so go ahead and finish this up uh probably gonna get angles cut but not welded all the way together uh, i'm gonna let ethan do that since he is a professional welder uh and he knows how to penetrate it a lot better than i do definitely uh gonna try to get this done here in the next you know 30 minutes or so, depending on rain, because it is uh, not helping me out. But, let's get back to it. So there's no easy way to measure where to actually cut for this engine mount since the weird angle. Uh, but, what I'm going to do is measure from the center right here, all the way to the edge over there on the actual engine motor mount. Cut it there horizontally and figure out my angle and cut the angle out. 
weld this plate on there, which I'll have to account for the plate. But, you know, that's always something I can cut out later. I would rather cut a little bit extra and cut it out later. Uh, but, yeah, that's kind of kind of the plan right now. So that's kind of what I'm doing right here. So it measured out about four inches all the way down to the bottom. But always measure twice, cut once. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure it twice, and then I'm going to cut it, hopefully, only once. And I have to remake this. If I do, I do. But hopefully I don't have to. Okay, so here's kind of the angle I worked out. Uh, I guess it's kind of hard to see in there, but it'll sit like that. You see the blue line I cut, and then this will sit like that. That sh matches up pretty well with the angle that's in there. Pretty much where it's going to sit, and then it's going to weld onto that plate. Had to pull out the big guns. Okay, angles cut. So how this piece right here is gonna sit is literally flush with that. So that's gonna go on there, and then that's gonna go on the motor. So it's actually you know wrong angle, but you know what I mean. Uh so I just gotta get the other one cut, and then Ethan will weld it tomorrow. Actually guys, I just got a call from the guy who's building my roll cage, and he said that I need to come over there to check the metal. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in the truck, head over there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna videotape it, if you'll allow me, but let's go ahead and hop in the truck and leave. Oh man, look at old Faithful. 316,000 miles on her. All right, guys, so I just left the roll cage guy who's building my roll cage for the Mustang. Uh, had to bring him the manual and show him all the rules for Formula Drift, but he said it's doable, so we're gonna do it. Uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna let me film when he's doing it, but I just don't want to take the risk of me building it and it fails and it hurts me or somebody riding with me. Uh, I prefer to have somebody that is professional doing it. So, we're gonna go through that. Uh, most likely he's gonna let me record and I'll have him teach you guys the basics of pipe bending and building a roll cage. <laughs> 